Okay, so I finished um, brushing and detangling both sides of my hair. And now the next thing that I need to do is check for any bald spots that I need to fill in. So I would normally do this in a mirror, and I will do it after um, this. But where I'm going to check is every other week I check on the like in, inner portions of my hair. And then the off weeks I check the middle section here. Because sometimes you lose hair without knowing it when you're brushing. And I know you can see my braid here. There's not a whole lot you can do about your braid showing except for I get a better braid pattern. Um, and I know that for next time. And then the edges. Basically the parts that people see most often. So if I have any bald spots here, if I look, what I mean is like spaces in the braids. Because I want the hair along my borders to be as close together as possible. So when I do an updo or when I have it down, and you're taller than me or you're behind me, you're not like, wow, she's missing a whole bunch of hair. So I'm gonna look in the mirror and see where I need to put some more in. And if I do have to put some more in, I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so I have checked my hair and the, the parts where I would normally put hair in this week, I don't um, see any spots myself that I need to replace hair. So the next thing I check it's my front hairline. It doesn't really bother me if the braids have grown back a bit because my hair blends right in with the color. Um, and it honestly, most people just think, most people still think that this is my hair, that I have just put it into braids myself. So I don't really worry about if you can see my edges, but I just don't want any like fuzzy fuzziness or puffiness. That was happening a lot more when I was going to the, um, the water park and swimming, um, but since it hasn't been as hot and I haven't been making my way to the water park, I haven't had an issue with that much. Normally what I would do is I would take, if this was puffy here, I would take this strand of hair that's attached to one of my cornrows, and I would pinch it with, if this was puffy, I'd pinch it with that puffy hair. And then I would attach a rubber band around the base of that, basically like a new ponytail that's closer, and it would tighten it all up. That also helps bring your uh, crochet braids forward more and helps with the tightening, but I don't really need to do that this week. So the next thing I'm going to show you is where I actually tighten up the braids that are underneath the uh, extension hair without getting too much of the extension hair stuck into it because um, you can and it will just be terrible if you do. Alright. Okay guys, so um, for the next step you need a mirror. You can also use a stand-up mirror. I'm just going to use a handheld because it's kind of hard to do this in a stand-up mirror with the camera. A brush. Some weaving thread scissors, doesn't matter what size, hair um, bands, a weaving needle, preferably curved or bent, and then if you want, you can also use some hair elastics. These are clear, it doesn't really matter, they're not staying in your hair. Okay, so the first thing I do is brush my hair out and then I'm going to look in the mirror and find where I last tighten my braids up and they're going to be closer together than my other braids so these are together I can feel the knots there these are together mm, these are together this one's next you can feel it because it's like way down. All the other ones are pretty close, like a finger's width apart. And this, you can see, is like, you got a big, can you see that? You have like a big space between this one and this one. And I didn't put a lot of hair inside purposely when I first crocheted it because you don't really see it, but it does help to tighten it because it brings your whole weave back together fresh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to part it between the braid that I'm going to be sewing closer together. 
and the braid that I'm sewing it to. I run my fingers down so I don't have any hair caught up between the two. And on one side, a ponytail. Just like that. And then on this side, a ponytail. So now my part is nice and exposed all the way through. I'm just going to check in my mirror, make sure I got the right one. Yeah, okay. So this one is going to be up here. So you want to thread your needle, take your weaving thread, and it probably won't be enough, but just start with a double arm's length first. You can see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cut it. Thread your needle through one with just one end of it. And you're going to double that. tie a knot at the end. And I got this idea from watching a video on tightening up a regular weave with tracks. This pretty much does the same thing. So looking in the mirror, I'm going to start in the front because it's easier for me. And I feel this braid here and this braid here. And I'm going to squeeze them together because that's where I'm going to start sewing. And I'm going to stick my curved needle through the top braid and feel around for the end of it with my thumb. So now it's around those two braids there. And when I squeeze together, they get close. So I'm going to take the needle And now that my thread is doubled, I'm going to put it between the two pieces of thread. And then making sure this hand is like this so that I'm not catching any hair. I'm going to pull it tight. So now I've started tightening it. And I'm going to do this for a little while just to show you how you can adapt it because you're not going to really be able to look unless you have a huge mirror. Oh, Aww, he's going to hold it for me. Thanks. Okay. So I feel again. I put my finger against the thread holding it up straight from my head. What's going on here? Okay, then it got stuck. Against the thread, like that, and I can feel one braid up here and that braid that I'm tightening down here. So I squeeze so that they're close together. And here's my needle. And I lay it between those two fingers. And it's resting against my thumb. Then I press till I feel it going kind of um, underneath the first top braid. It goes underneath both of those braids, touches my thumb, and I pull it through. So now I've got my double loop thread with an even larger loop. So if you hold it together like that, you have four pieces of thread. But it's all the same piece of thread. It's just doubled up and looped. So now instead of going through just the two pieces like I did in the beginning, I'm going to take this first, I'm going to take the first needle through the loop. Pull tight. And because you're basically making a half knot every time you go through this, you don't have to worry about um, it unraveling just in case one piece breaks. 
and you do that till you get to the end and then I'll show you what you do at the end. Let's go. Okay, so obviously I'm not done with uh, this row of braid, but I don't, at this point, this length is as long as I can go with this thread to do the looping before it just gets too short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors, and I guess it does help to have smaller scissors so you're not have these huge kitchen shears and cutting off your hair. But I run them along, I can feel the resistance, I run them along the thread and I cut like here. So that I can feel with my finger for uh, joining. So then I take some more thread, I re-thread my needle. I'll probably end up cutting this part out because it's not necessary. I can stop. It's okay. Because I might end up. It's better just to keep it rolling in case. Uh, okay. So I've got my new thread and needle. And I'm going to feel around for that loose piece. I don't feel where I had it joined together. There it is. So instead of starting right from there, I'm actually going to start a little bit ahead so that I can stitch right back over that. And it's kind of like when, if you do real sewing, when you um, finish off a hem or something. So you just start it right back up the way that you did it in the beginning and keep stitching until you reach the end. That's it for now. Stop? Yeah. So, are you recording? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to stop here because of my braid pattern. Your braids might go straight all the way back, like individually, but mine kind of um, get joined together. So I don't have to go back all the way back this time. So I put my two fingers in this loop because I know I'm about to end it. And I've already, you know, gone underneath and I'm, and I'm bringing it through like I would be going to it again. But then I replace those fingers with these two, okay, to mark. I hope this is long enough so I can do it. Bring it under again, that same spot. Where I had my fingers marking it. Mm, okay, there's the needle. The needle came up under here. No, I can't see. The needle came up under here. You see it? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to aim it through that again. Through that original loop. Okay? And then I just, oops, hold on. It's really hard to do it when you can't see, but I mean, you don't have many other options except for having someone else do it. And you pull it tight. So it's not a full knot, but it's secure enough that when it's hidden by your hair, the end might get a little looser than the rest of it, but it's still gonna be together. And you cut it off and you're done. So that's just one side and I do the same to the other side on the same spot and it basically brings your braids up closer to each other. Um, there's other ways that you can tighten your braids too but this I found is the easiest for me and I hope that was helpful. Okay so really quick I did the other side and now my hair is tightened up enough for one more week uh, before I have to tighten another braid. And um, I don't know if you can visually tell a difference, but I can feel up here where it's a lot more secure. And when I brush my hair, it's not, my braids aren't pulling away from my head, so I don't have to experience any stress because it is a protective style, so you shouldn't put stress on your hair even when it's braided up. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope this was helpful. Um, I might do another one um, for some other type of weave or extensions showing you what you can do as an alternative way to uh, tighten your braids up, but this is the easier method. So talk to you later.